name is Mike Lewitt, Regional Counselor here in the town of Milton. You're watching Local Matters on your TV, Halton, which is truly local television. I hope everybody's recovered from springing forward. We uh, lost an hour, but we gained some sunlight and the spring weather, the warm weather is, is headed on the way and looking forward to a nice warm season, getting rid of the cold and getting out there in our community. One of the most important things that we've had to deal with at Halton Region and the town of Milton recently is coordinating, uh, getting the vaccinations ready for the COVID-19. Recently, over the last uh, couple of weeks, we've had successful clinics up in Halton Hills. Uh, we've had some successful clinics in Burlington as well as Oakville. And this week, Milton at the First Ontario Centre for the Arts has started its vaccination clinic for those residents who are 80 years and above. And what I wanted to do in this segment of Local Matters is to give you some highlights, some information on those uh, vaccination clinics and what the next steps are going to be. So starting, to, starting March 16th, uh, throughout the day from 9.30 to 3, the Milton Vaccination Clinic will be open. It is by appointment only, and we do have to stress, uh, strongly uh, stress to people, it, no drop-in visits will be allowed. It is only by appointment only uh, for uh, residents that are over 80 years. So you do register online, halton.ca slash COVID-19. Uh, and follow the link to booking your appointment. Uh, for those who have no internet access or are having some difficulties, you can always contact 311 and make your arrangements there. But again, this is for people who are 80 years and above. Our other clinics are at the Gaylert Community Center, which is in Georgetown that began on March the 6th. St. Vladimir Cultural Center uh, in Oakville began on March the 9th. The Compass Point Bible Church in Burlington and Joseph Brandt Hospital uh, began last week as well. And again, the people who are eligible for this are people who are 80 years of age or older, essentially born uh, 1941 or before. Healthcare workers that are described as the highest priority who live or work in Halton. Healthcare workers um, uh, providing in-person patient care as well uh, qualify for that. And when you're booking appointments, again, through our website or the 311 uh, the provincial government has released their online booking system, uh, that, which is important to note that Halton Region is not working with that provincial system. So if you see it on the news or if you see anything uh, about it in, in media, uh, Halton Region is uh, providing its own booking service and it is not uh, associated with the provincial government's booking system. That was just a direction that uh, Halton Region Public Health went with. And so far, the feedback uh, that I've received from uh, the mayors of our communities has been uh, nothing but positive uh, going forward. For those residents who want to book appointments, uh, who have some uh, issues with getting transportation there, you can also book transportation. Halton Region has worked with our specialized local Milton Transit to provide uh, private transportation and taxi services uh, to ensure the residents can uh, conveniently come in to uh, our regional clinics. And again, this is throughout Halton region. Uh, so going forward, uh, the, the plans are to uh, vaccinate the population 80 years and above uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, the next phase, if you, and, and again, all this information is on the halton.ca website. The next phase will be from April to the summer where residents from 60 to 80 uh, will be eligible to uh, book appointments and information will be outlined for that uh, going forward when that's uh, available. But it, our target is for April. And then when we have uh, for the 60 to, to uh, 80, uh, 80 to 60 year olds, uh, it'll also be uh, people who are in our frontline services uh, when it comes to either food processing, uh, employees or, or, or anybody who's in a high risk environment they'll also be able to uh, register for their uh, vaccinations as well. And moving forward after that, hopefully starting in uh, at the end of the summer, the remaining population of Halton region will be uh, allowed to start registering uh, for, th for their vaccination. So it's gonna be in a three phase progress. Again, all of this is subject to the availability of vaccines. Uh, we've been assured that there will be 
sufficient amount of vaccines moving forward in Halton region. But as we know, anything can happen. So terms will be subject, subject to change going forward for that. Uh, so again, we're asking everybody to be patient. I, register, uh, follow on the website, halton.ca slash COVID-19, and uh, be able to follow along, get email updates as to when your group will be uh, available and eligible for uh, registering for to book an appointment for your vaccinations. In the meantime, we can only stress the to follow the basics, washing your hands uh, on a regular basis, wearing a mask in public places, social distancing, physical distancing as much as possible, and uh, to uh, stay at home if you don't need to go out. These are the basics that we've been following. Our numbers, uh, if you follow them on a daily basis, go up and down. Uh, we'd like to see that trend to go down uh, as, as much as possible so that we, we can return to some form of normal life as we, uh, we head into the summer season. So that's about a bit of the information. Again, halton.ca slash COVID-19. For all the up-to-date information, follow the region of Halton on social media, uh, the town of Milton and the town of Halton Hills on social media, as well as they like to, they get all that information out. And I'm going to close off this segment with a video from our medical officer of health, Dr. Magani, who is going to explain in this video an update on the time frame in between first doses and second doses. Uh, a lot of uh, information has been out there. Uh, throughout the news and uh, Halton Region has made their announcement that they're going to be extending the time period between the first and the second doses to ensure that a majority or as many people as possible get their first dose. So we're going to tune into that message from Halton Region, Dr. McGinney, who is our Medical Officer of Health at Halton Region. And after that, we'll be returning to Local Matters on your TV Halton, Truly Local Television. 